Hey, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com and jumpstartyourwebsite.net, which is what I want to talk to you about today in a video tip um, all about your website. I've had lots of conversations lately with newer business owners trying to figure out, okay, what kind of website do I get? What do I need? How many pages? How do I get people on my list or to the websites? And oh my God, we could be here for three days me te teaching you everything you need to know about that. But here's a few key things I want you to know when you're planning out a new website these day and age, in this day and age, okay? So uh, first of all, if you've never had a website, please, the first, the only place you should really go to build a website is wordpress.org, not the .com, okay? And just hear me out here, I've been in business for 17 years. I don't have time to teach you all the why, why this, why that, why, why are you suggesting this? Let me just tell you what I know you need to know and just trust that <laughs> you have to trust, you have to trust me or this video is going to be an hour and a half long. Okay. So wordpress.org, you actually, I don't recommend that you figure out and choose a theme because you will undoubtedly pick a theme that is not the right layout, look and feel, or have the right functionality that you probably need, just because you don't know what you don't know, okay? So I would, right now, in 2019, the most common theme that people do pick from is called DIV, D-I-V-I, and that's the kind of theme that we build websites on now, currently with clients. A few years ago, it, it was some other types of themes, uh, now it's DV is the most common one because of the functionality, the types of different templates, the layout look and feel, um, the ease of use and behind the website doesn't require any coding to have cool graphics and things like that. In fact, a lot of the pages come set with the graphics already, which is kind of cool. So you can just plug and play and move things around and drag and drop the things you want these days in the back end of your website. The reason I don't suggest things like Squarespace, Coaches Console, Wix, or Weebly is the primary reason is it's not as search engine friendly, okay? The second reason is it doesn't have uh, the capability to add a bunch of plugins like WordPress does that gives you a ton more uh, functionality and ease of use for you and your visitors. So if you're starting a new website, don't even think about those tools, please, because you will build, it might be less expensive, but in the long run, you're going to have to move your website to WordPress within a year or two anyways, max. And keep in mind that you're probably going to have to build, redo your website and redesign and launch a whole new website every couple of years now, okay? Because technology changes all the time, because of the internet changes and the capability of what we're, what, what is capable on your website, uh, you're going to want to set a web update budget every couple of years and or... Uh, enlist a good web designer, webmaster, or web developer, or techie virtual assistant that can help you maintain your website throughout the year because you're not going to be able to build it and then leave it alone for a year. That's just not a smart move. It's con they constantly need updates uh, for their plugins, for the pages, for the themes, and all this kind of stuff, and you have to stay on top of that. Or you might try to look at your website one day and boop, it's gone because hackers have gotten in. It's so common and I don't know why they even do that and why, why they target us small businesses, but they do. And if you're not prepared with backups and different things and updating your website, then that's more likely going to happen to you, okay? So to prevent that, we wanna make sure you're in WordPress, you have a professionally designed website, please, you don't have to spend $10,000 on a website. Now, I know people that charge $50,000 for a website, which I think is insane. Uh, um, even $10,000. Now, my website, jumpstartyourmarketing.com, I've been getting new quotes lately to do redo my website at this stage because I know I need a new website. And my team is capable, and I know what to put on it, but I'm just kind of feeling out some different price points as if someone was going to rebuild my site for me, a little simpler than it is now, frankly. Um, but the, I'm getting quotes between eight and $10,000 because I have a very in-depth website, but I've been doing this a long, long time and I have a lot of stuff, right? Now, if you're just starting out, 
you're going to need somewhere between 10 and 20 pages. Usually it's right around 12 to 15 pages that most business owners need to start with. You have to trust me on this. If you're only thinking, oh, I need, only need a couple pages of home and about a contact or a services page, you're sorely mistaken. You're not going to build a website that is going to be easy for your clients and you're certainly not gonna be able to sell on just, I mean, you can, uh, it's not a black and white kind of scenario, but you need, you need to be able to build your website for those people who don't know you yet. You don't build it for someone who your clients are already. You have to build it for people, your ideal clients, who have no idea who you are. It's okay. So that means you have to tell them everything that they potentially need to know in order to even connect with you or contact you. Like most people will not call you and they will not email you from your website. Okay. Unless you're a plumber and uh, their, <laughs> their plumbing just went out. Right. So they're not going to come and urgently call you or email you. They might, however, and this is what we want them to do is we want them to give you their name and email, perhaps their phone number, uh, in order to get a little bit of information from you, perhaps that's going to solve the problem that they have. So they're looking for solutions to their problems. So if you're not addressing their problem on your website, then that's your second mistake because if you built it in the wrong place, that's your first. Um, most people who try to go and build a new website will say, welcome to my website, here's what you need to know about me, and here's my services, and this is who I am, this is my credibility, and, and uh, you know, just come and contact me. And that's fine, but nobody wants, nobody cares about you or your business until they know that you can actually solve their problem. They're not even gonna scroll down on that first home page beyond that humongous picture that you might think is really cool to put on top, which is not, by the way, they may not even scroll past that if they're not interested in that first headline or those first few words that are on your page, period, end of story. They might just say, oh, this isn't for me, I'm out, right? And then they may never come back. So thinking and strategizing and brainstorming on how to set up your website, from what pages to have, what kinds of free or special offers to have, how to get people to give you their contact information, of course, then how to follow up with them and nurture them in a sequence, perhaps, or a drip marketing sequence so that you can continue to build that relationship. Most people don't have any idea of how to really do that. And that is the kind of thing that I love to help people do because I don't want you to have to build another website in five months or a year from now because you did it inexpensively or tried to do it yourself or didn't go to the right person to get the site that you need. And even if you only spent a few hundred dollars on this first site, you're still going to have to invest in something more tangible, more um, thorough, perhaps, and a lot more personal, uh, personable uh, sooner than later if you want business from your website, okay? So those are just some initial things to think of. There is so much more that we could talk about. Um, I am super good, though, at helping you talk through the words that need to go onto the web page, figure out the free thing that you're gonna give away and how that all flows, uh, figure out the thank you pages and the back end functionality, and even the look and feel and where to place things on the page is critical. There's a strategy on how to analyze that based on what you're selling, what your business is, and who your target market is. So it's not the same for everybody. And if you get somebody who just says, well, I'll build your site like this person's site. Well, unless you have exactly the same business and their site was built awesomely with a sales and marketing strategy behind it, then I would not do that if I were you, right? Unless you know that person is making a hell of a lot of money, I would not model my site after that person, okay? So be careful where you're going to get website advice especially in the beginning, because there's so many people out there that know what they're doing, but there's a lot of people who don't. And the people that don't are sometimes the least expensive, or sometimes they're even more expensive, and they're just really good at selling you into their package. So I would love to offer anybody who's thinking about starting a new website, uh, whether you use our design services or not, you don't have to. 
but come and talk to me in a web and planning call where we can actually lay out a lot of the, these ideas for you in a recorded call, even on video, figure out your look and feel, figure out the free thing, figure out the home page, lay out um, technology-wise the functionality that you'll need, uh, even some of the content that you might need to create, and we can even figure out some of your packages, programs, and offers too in one or two calls. Honestly, I just want to help more people have more productive businesses and more profitable businesses, and a lot of that has to do with your website, which needs to be the hub of your business. So please come and talk to me in one of two ways. If you are ready to jump in with a paid planning call where we get to work and we'll plot it out in a call, then I'm giving a really good discount on a one hour with me to do that because it's a very targeted thing, right? And I'll have you fill out a questionnaire beforehand, but it's $197. Normally, I have about $600 an hour, okay? But I like to do this because I don't want you to go off in the wrong place with your website. I want you to get the information you need ahead of time so that you make better decisions in building the site. Now, you can take that recording, you can give it to a different web designer, and they can go build the right site for you, okay? But spend the money on that kind of a call. Trust me, I, I will refund your money completely if you don't think you got value out of it, but it never happens. It will not happen. I, there's no way it can happen, okay? So if you're ready to dive in with a web planning call, just sign up today at 197, seriously. And there's a link below to know how to do that. If you're not sure yet, and you don't even know who I am, and you're just hearing me for the first time, <laughs> then come and just talk to me a little bit more, maybe in a complimentary strategy session. We can get to know each other, and uh, we can do that, okay? So that, you would go to askcat.biz. It's A-S-K-K-A-T dot B-I-Z. So you can do that. So either one, let's just get started. Don't wait to do this. I can't tell you how long I'm gonna have this availability for that kind of a low price call. So you don't wanna wait and you can save it until you're ready for the website. So even if you're not gonna build the website for four months, save the planning call now and you have it when you're ready to, to really launch, okay? Have a great day everyone and here's to building a bigger, profitable, more, more successful business for yourself.